Hey guys, welcome to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Phenem and my Mayan village. Mayan village, Mayan, I, I, I never know qu quite which one to say there, but I have a small issue already. You can see that I've spent some time, about half an hour or so, going around and putting a fence around the outside of this village, and everything seemed to be doing okay. I thought I was going to get everyone fenced in and everything would have been cool but do you see these buildings over here look look where this fence line comes here that's because this used to be the edge of the village and they're building further out so i'm not sure what i'm gonna be able to do to restrict these people look they're even growing trees and stuff like is this another tree farm is this what's going on here currently empty uh, someone says they'll be right here, but the, the, like, what is going on with this place? I have literally no idea, but I do know the one thing I do need to do is try and get some defensive turrets set up here. At least in this corner here, because this seems to be where they all come to chat and hang out. So I think maybe we need a defensive turret up there, maybe another one up there, uh, and then a power source somewhere, of course. Yeah, but I'm gonna go sort all that out. I just wanted to show you guys this before they expanded any further or anything untoward happened. What did I put in here? Some turrets, nice. You know, it's very, very warm down at the bottom of the, the world here. I went down below to try and get some glowstone because I need to make energetic alloy for all the turret bases and stuff like that. And I got hot, like so hot. You can see I'm at 39 degrees right now. I had topped out at 45, something like that. I was getting all the damage done unto me. But it seemed like a good time to show you my cold cave. Uh, I have kind of kind of shown it off in the background a little bit, but never actually taking you guys down here to see. Let's just... It's not going to let me do that. So I've packed a load of snow around the outside and I've got the water trickling in to keep me cool. I was kind of expecting it to bring me down below the heat strokey stage at this point. But, you know, we can wait. We can wait. It also helps to drink the water that's in front of you. As you can see, every time that I take a sip, I lose something like half of a point one of, the, of a degree. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but you can hear that I'm drinking, I don't know, one every second, one every second and a half. So it kind of drops down quite quickly. And at this point, I think I can go talk about the other problems that I have at the moment. Uh, so obviously, I'm collecting a lot of glowstone because I want to make the energetic alloy. And in fact, whilst I'm on my way past, I think I'm just going to drop that in there it should start a whole process off oh i in fact need to put more golden glowstone in there that is no problem but another problem that i am actually having is this output of uh, radioactive materials now there is a way of dealing with this uh leaded i believe this is the one we have the leaded glass but that's not what we're really after we're after a leaded chest now i think i can do this pretty simply if we go and find a chest thankfully i keep chests handy inside this chest chest in a chest i don't know chestception something's a bit weird there uh, and i also need just a few lead it's literally just eight lead is it not oh, i got one too many that's no problem hey twitch young 5 how are you doing let's use you i've started having him follow me around again and making the world a little bit more um enveloped for him is the is the real world term is when we make the world a bit more robotic friendly rather than making the robots world friendly like down at the cold cave if we have a look down here you can see that i have put in these signposts here because he kept on drowning he would teleport in and stand there there was a block there in his way so we couldn't go out um and yeah he just ended up drowning in the stagnant water which was not great he would end up back at home all the time and stuff like that uh, the next thing i need to do is try and figure out this little section here because he has a habit of getting stuck in there as well okay the leaded chest hopefully somewhere i have a white list left i don't think i do actually let's Ah, I've got one left. Good. A basic item filter. You can see I'm gathering up all the stuff for the defences of the village. Uh, I will get there eventually. Um, but I just wanted to bring you here for this midpoint to show you all the, the weird things I'm having to go through just to get these done. Okay, so we've got a void chest. I'm going to put the leaded chest here. Uh, we do not want it just randomly taking everything, though. So if we... No, no, we uh, we click on the outside here. Okay, we want it to have a filter and it be inserted with a filter. That just swallowed my filter. That did just swallow my filter. Look, it's there. Okay, fair enough. So this must have all things active at all the time without actually realizing it. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Um, okay, I'm going to take the uranium and the Einsteinium. Stop. 
Man, that's that's terrible. Uh, we got it on whitelist. So why is it letting stuff in? It should be. It shouldn't be letting any of it in, surely. If it's on whitelist and nothing's in the list, then surely nothing should be working. I don't know. Th things are weird. Now, why is it not taking the uranium out? This is the next question. Uh, did I not put uranium on the list? Let's just double check. No, it's there. It's very much there. Okay. I wonder what that's about. We will wait and see if it works. Okay, so I am completely out of glowstone and still in need of making more energetic alloy. So I thought I would take you guys through the process of going to get the glowstone dust. First thing I did was make myself hypothermic inside the cold cave. That's kind of worn off now because I've never really liked taking it down too far. Oh. <laughs> teleported myself into a cave. That's pretty good. The next thing I do is I come over towards this broken out shaft that we have over here. I just kind of jump in. Uh, this takes us down to the lowest point possible as quick as possible. Uh, and I've also started digging a small hole here. So we jump in this way. Uh, then it's all about just trying to find a nice clear spot to start hacking into the wall. You can see over here I've had a go. Found myself a lava pond. That's not too great and over here we've got like this nice little wall here there we go as quick as that we have found ourselves our first uh, glowstone deposit there are lots of hazards down here that i do have to watch out for it's not all fun and glories as you can see uh, the lava was an issue and somewhere around here there we go there is a block of firestone ore now this stuff we really really do have to watch out for uh, if we end up with it inside our inventory it will set the uh set the area around us on fire and then by extension after a little bit of time set us on fire i've already succumbed to this once before was not my finest hour it has to be said it took a little while to figure out what was actually going on um, i actually made it all the way up to the surface with it in my inventory oh that was a lot of glowstone right there it doesn't normally come in quite that quick uh, though I am starting to suspect that it comes in veins or something like that. That it all kind of clusters together. Okay, so you can see that I have already outstayed my welcome. Uh, I did manage to get myself hypothermic before coming in here, but that is not enough. Oh, no. Okay, where are I've just lost my, my orientation. Oh, no, that is not quite enough. I am already over 40 degrees, and I've started to take some damage. Uh, we should be able to get out of here relatively quickly, though. We're down at half health. Not the worst I've ever been at trying to escape out of here. Oh, And yes, that is a lot of work. Let's get over to the cold. Oh, that was good. That was a lot of work for 26 pieces of glowstone dust. Oh man, guys, these new neighbours are really coming in and taking over the neighbourhood. The first thing I did in this episode was go around and put this fence down. You can see it kind of lines around the outside of the vast majority of the buildings. Apart from these over here and these over here, because they built these new. It's, it's crazy. If we go inside the village, in fact, I could do it like this. There's a set of signs just on the other side here. Uh, this is like the main village building, if you will. And look, they go around and they do stuff. They've got a tree farm over there. There's a couple of mining buildings. That's a mining building. Hey, dude, how are you doing? Uh, and they fill up all this stone and cobblestone. And once this is full, they go and construct a new building somewhere, which is crazy, if you ask me. Uh, I, I worry for my base. If they come over and build over the top of my base, it will be a sad, sad day. Uh, I, I will live with it. We'll, we'll become an underground living person and just watch over all these guys and keep them safe. But I wouldn't be too impressed. But you join me up here on top of Fan Art Hill because... I have something else to celebrate with you guys. Zedtech has come through with clone specification number 2648-N. This was one of the poor, poor clones that gave his life in the pursuit of science. Immortalized in this beautiful piece of digital artwork by Zedtech. My friend, my constant companion through most of this post for Nem adventure. You really have done yourself amazing here and I am so thoroughly grateful. Like so much thanks man so much thanks uh just i really need to put somewhere to to keep everything what i was trying to do over the past week was find out if i could find a way of condensing these pictures down onto maps unfortunately that that's not something that happens in this minecraft version little unfortunate but i, I will find a way to immortalize i, I want to try and i don't know put a gallery up somewhere and maybe use a couple of um a couple of maps 
to display the picture as whole. Like maybe split up these pictures into quarters and put each one on a map or, or something like that. I, I'm really not sure what we're going to do. But what we're going to do right now is go around and sprinkle some of these gun turrets around. I've got, I've got three to be placed down. Hey, dude, how are you doing? I think we're going to start by protecting... Oh, Twitch Yongi5, what are you doing? Come on, off off that. They, they... Sometimes I really wonder about you. Your AI chip needs a complete overhaul. But yes, I think the first place I'm going to put one, if they don't get too annoyed about it, is pop one right down here. Um, they, they don't seem to be angry. This is good. This is very good. Okay, so that's where this gun turret is going to go. You can see I've also brought a lot of stuff to make bullets out of. Uh, I also... As we're on the also tip, need to put in a power generation place. But I think what I'm going to do is do that right here. Yeah, they, they shouldn't get too angry about this, right? I hope not anyway, because I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to put a sterling generator down there, a hopper, and then a chest on top. The chest might not be great right there. Perhaps a half slab wouldn't go amiss. But we're going to just have to leave it blank like that. Because I'm going to put all these metal methyl cryolates... Yeah, yeah, that one in there. Uh, great, all the power is being made. What I need now need to do is run some conduit up here. This should not be too difficult, I think, as long as these small children aren't too much in the way. They kind of are in the way, but I believe this is what happens with small children. They just kind of come in, take over your life, and then you have to worry about what to do with them around all the time. Uh, oh, hey. Th thanks for that. I don't know who we right clicked there. We will come back and check out this entire village's <laughs> all the functions that are available in this village at some point. I just wanted to get the defenses down. That little baby very much in the way. In fact, loads of things are in the way. How do you reckon we can push these guys out? There we go. That worked. Woo! All right, so let's try and make ourselves a few bullets to go into this. Uh, I do not have a craft bench on me. Thankfully, Twitch Yongi5 is following me around. So I think we just do this. No other way up then? Maybe it's shaped. Maybe it needs to go right in the middle of the bench. Yes, it does. Okay, don't try and build it on the side. That's um, a little bit inconvenient, but we can definitely live with it. Okay, let's come in here and just drop off as many bullets as possible. That was not useful. <laughs> that was not useful. Okay, I'm going to go around and place down a few more of these in a few more um, strategic places. I kind of like this one, and I'm going to put another one down there. And then from there on, I don't know, I feel maybe one is needed down on this edge to protect these guys over here. And then our next task is to go over that way, because these guys be building that way. Okay, before I do anything too severe over at that ghast nest or whatever it is, I need a few bits of wood to enable me to make a chest because I'm carrying a lot of stuff and I don't really fancy losing all that stuff. Uh, I know I could put it into Twitch Yongi 5 here, but his box is just not big enough. You know, when, you're, when your companion's box is not big enough, you need to try and do something about it. It's also full of all this stuff. He had an iron chest on him. Ah, oh, I wish I'd looked in there beforehand. We could have used that. Okay, we're going to put all my stuff right here. Apart from the things that I need uh, to battle. In fact, I'm going to need my pickaxe as well. But I think everything else we should be okay with leaving behind. Triglycerides, I'm going to leave the majority of. Okay, let's see what we can do about this. The first thing I'm going to do is get in there and try and break that spawner. Oh, here we go. Bad times are underway. Oh, where is he? Where'd he go? Twitch Yongi 5, what do you see? Oh, I see explosive. Oh, it's too late. Run away. Run away. Okay, that that was terrible. Where? <laughs> Whoa. I wonder how I was supposed to deal with that then. Because obviously, like, you need to take out the, the, the spawn box. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm not even going to try and shoot this. Obviously, you need to try and take out the spawn box. So how was I supposed to attack? We are going to go and find another one at some point to go and attack. I'm glad I left my stuff up in a chest. It ended up not being needed, but... Oh, that could have been a lot worse. Wow, that, that actually could have been a lot, lot worse. Man, this really is a big hole. So what happened there was there were some wooden pressure plates around a whole load of obsidian. And when I broke the glowstone, the glowstone dust fell on the pressure plate and then all this went off. There must have been more TNT than the one I saw, but yeah, that, that was big. Next time we're going to go in from, I don't know, maybe down 
this sort of level, see what we can find. That might just mean it's harder to make my way out. Uh, but we're going to try and experiment this time. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, given, like, I was talking about how I don't really want them to expand too far. And I, they seem to have stopped because they're out of sandstone. They're trying to build Uxul Otux place. That might be how you pronounce that. Hi, how are you doing there, dude? I want to sell you three bits of these. Can we do that? Three? Is that is that good? The, the, what happened? What happened? I, I appear to still have everything that I was holding on to. Okay, he gave me some stuff, some dinars. I don't think anything actually went 14... Okay, is that better? Did we do... There's three sandstone. So what I'm expecting now... Yeah. So it comes over here. 24 meters north. It's going to go that way. Accord oh, 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 he's off. He's building. Oh, should we watch him? I think I think we shall watch him. Look, and we earned some coin. That's weird. Uh, so you're going to go through... I've noticed this. Look, watch. He's going to uh, teleport through now. Isn't that great? They do that instead of using their doors as well, which is a little bit crazy. And then, look, he attacks the floor with a wooden shovel. Like... A wooden shovel and manages to level off all this obsidian. It's amazing. Where does the obsidian go? That's what I really, really want to know. Um, oh, someone's coming up to to have a sell at me. I want to. I want to know whether. No, we're gonna have to wait longer, are we? Oh, he's placing down as well. Is he filling in? What's he doing? I'm not. I'm never sure what they're doing. Oh, it's very warm here. Oh, he's teleported underground. What? What happened there? Okay, let's see if we can't go over and have a look. Maybe if I don't press shift, that would be a great idea. Okay, so he's going to be there. Ah, oh, you know what? I don't like this fence. I do like this fence. I think this fence is amazing, but it gets in my way all the time. And then Twitch Young E5 takes a serious damage. Okay, so I happen to know that there was a small cave under here. Just literally a small one. I made this space. There was a small bit of uh, water pond here. So I covered it over with obsidian. That's why it's all like choppy like this. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. So they, then he comes along and fills in the cave underneath. Is he filling in the cave underneath or is he just teleporting underneath? I don't know. He is a mighty magician though. Okay, let's give it a few seconds for him to finish this platform up and then we'll see what he does after that. Alright, he's finished that all off. But have a look at this guy. You see this single bit of obsidian here? This reminds me that I built something here. Uh, and let's uh, have a look through there. Scary, right? Not just that, there is all sorts. Look at look at the radar. There is so much going on down there. It is terrifying. But what's he doing now? He's putting down some oh, I mean like this block. This is a it's a dirt wall. Where does he get the dirt wall from? And why are you only building in dirt? Uh one thing I have noticed is after a little while when the projects up there uh tick over they can say upgrading look at that place the maze farm over there this is upgraded uh quite monumentally this used to uh, twitch youngie five uh, this used to just be all dirt wall and then it got made into wood and then uh up to this stone they're growing maize here which is amazing ha puns so let's go back and see what's going on with the dude's building Oh, look, this dude. All right, no, 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 no. Go, go away. You you weren't selling to me a second ago. So he comes from the mining hut over there. Should we go and have a look at the mining hut? Uh, I love this integrated system that's going on here. This, this is amazing. So these guys dig down here quite a lot. I mean, they never actually do any digging. This is like the deepest this ever gets. Uh, I think. Let, let's sit and wait. Yeah, we can hear blocks being broken, but he's not actually taking anything out as far as I'm aware. And then after a little while, he climbs on up, wanders round, follows this path down. He tries to follow this one, I believe. Perhaps if we replace this with dirt, he'll make this an entire pathway. Uh, and then follows up here and delivers all his stone to up here. Oh, Twitch, Yongi 5, really. Uh, delivers all his stone up here to go in for the next project. A crafter. Oh, this is another building. He wants oak wood, but they're going to make some of that. Hey, how's it going? And just like that, he has finished his hut. Let's go and inspect it. Because th that's exactly what they want after finishing building. Is some Juan from the past coming around and having a look. It looks good. It looks good. Uh, got a 
furnace, some chests. I mean, these are, like, they say locked chests, but I can look inside them and stuff like that. I think they're to do with their crafting, with their uh, trading, sorry. I don't know why they needed the, the stone either. But yeah, this is good. Currently empty. Oh, that's no good. Oh, God, shoot, get out of here. Oh, no, the building's so, so close to my house now. I am a little bit worried. But what I'm going to go around and do is try and replace some of this obsidian. Not so much this obsidian. Look, they took out my fence and everything. Ah, uh, do you guys have no respect? But what I'm going to do is go around and try and replace some of this obsidian with a little bit of grass, especially areas like this. Uh, not grass, dirt. I'm going to let them... Uh, do it with dirt, but I'm afraid I've run out of time today So I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you guys next time where I'm gonna Try and stop these guys spreading towards my house I'm also gonna as I say replace all the obsidian with dirt and try and get this place looking nice But I will see you then when we're gonna do that Bye